in all sorts of ways. First thing that I do when I am doing my skincare routine anytime, anywhere, um, I use my cleanser. I am using this one. This is by Otisite. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it. It might be Otisite. Udacity, I don't know, they make the names in skincare, so weird. But this is a black mint cleanser, um, I really like it. It just kind of like freshens your face, wakes you up. Normally I'm not a big fan of um, super intense charcoal cleansers because I feel like it's really stripping. But this one isn't super stripping, but it does wake my skin up. And I really like it um, because it's small. I never bring full size products as I was saying, so really, one little ounce of product that I'm going to use for three days. Not a big deal. So. This cleanser is a little bit watery, so just be careful. I really like cream cleansers, no matter what. Um, cleanser I'm using. I like something that is nice and um, gentle on my skin. I don't use things with a lot of beads in them um, or anything like that or anything with super intense ingredients. I just keep my cleanser nice, simple, does the job. Sometimes your skin doesn't need something that's super crazy. You just need something that's going to do the job. Um, skin doesn't always need like derived parts from the rock of Africa that holds the power of crystals and the water from Budapest that heals your skin like the warriors once did. You don't always need that. Um, sometimes your skin just wants something simple to the point and when I'm traveling that's like the, that's what I do. I just keep it simple to the point and I don't um, really bring anything super crazy. So then I'm just patting my skin dry. Fabulous. I have eye boogies. Okay. So, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do my skincare routine from the thinnest products to the thickest. First thing that I'm going to be using is the 15% vitamin C by Lancome. This is a pretty straightforward product, it's basically straight vitamin C. But you want to use your thinnest products first, always in skincare. Like, look at how look at how thin this product is. Oh, it's like water. So, um, poured out um a bit extra just to show you guys. But I usually only use like three drops, and then I'm just gonna press it gently into my skin. I still have water in the back of my hand, so I'm just pressing it. Gently into my skin. Vitamin C is really great because um, it's an antioxidant that um, protects your skin from pollutants and things like that that you encounter on a daily basis. Not to get like all nerdy on you, but in terms of size to the pollutants and why they're so important and um, all of that. So your pore is about this big. An air pollutant is about the size of the end of my bobby pin. Those little pollutants are filling up your pores and giving you guys breakouts, me too. You know, I don't wear this every single day. But um, it's really important to make sure that you are protecting your skin throughout the day. So I am like so obsessed with this Rose Hip Bioregenerate Oil by Pi. Um, it's really amazing for sensitive skin. The whole brand is made for sensitive skin. Rose Hip is super hydrating. Um, it's also super calming. So you don't want rose, you want actual rose hip. I always use two to three drops, like three, three times a week. But when I'm traveling, I like this because the oil is also a natural retinol and vitamin C alternative. So if I wasn't to pack my vitamin C, I could have used this. So I'm just pressing that into my skin. The reason I do this instead of going in circles is because you really want to press that product into your skin with the warmth of your hands so that it goes in and it does its job. If not, it'll just be sitting on top of your skin and it'll get in, but it's not going to do its job, right? So, And I always get nervous traveling with this because it's oil and, I mean, sometimes it 
a little teeny trace of it comes out. But I love it so much that I'm just like, I have to have it, you know? I cannot live without it. And I love the smell. When I first got it, I didn't really like the smell, but I love the smell now. All right, so next thing that I do is I am using my Pharmacy Do It All Eye Cream. To be honest, this is the one step that I always forget to do. But my eyes have been dry lately. It's been really dry here in Denver, so. Um, we're doing like a weekend getaway here in Denver, so. All right, so I just put a little bit on my ring finger. I do that because the ring finger is the most gentle and I'm tapping it in and I'm just doing it on that bone. You don't wanna put it, any of that product on your eyelid itself because it'll naturally move up and you can get that product can like seep into your eyes and you can get that cloudy eye, you know, and then, um, yeah, you just don't really need to. The only time I'll ever do it is if my eyes are like scaly dry and then I'll put it on my eyelid, but I don't really ever do that. All right, so now that we've got eye cream on, I am going to use my Pi Chamomile and Rosehip Calming Day Cream. It's really more of a moisturizer and less of a day cream to be honest with you guys, um, but I really like it. I'm just using one and a half pumps getting it warm in my hand, and then I'm going to press it into my skin, and then I will work it around. I totally forgot to put the oil on my neck. I always make sure, it's probably because I'm talking and like trying to make sure you guys know what I'm doing, but um, I always make sure that my skincare products are going on my neck and on my chest because those age too. I, would, I feel like your neck ages faster than your whole body. So, a little moisture is on my ears. All right, so this is a clean beauty brand. I'm not like anti any other brand. Um, I've just naturally, slowly started getting um, a lot of clean beauty products. Um, and I really love this. Uh, I'm not, I wasn't using it strictly because it was clean beauty. I was using it because it worked well. Um, I'm not someone who is like, I'm not going to use something because it is clean beauty or because it isn't, but I'm going to use what works for my face and this works really well. It's clean beauty, vegan, a really simple um, moisturizer that just hydrates your skin, prepares it for your makeup, and it looks, it looks great on your makeup also. But yeah, love, love, love. Then for my final step in my travel skincare routine, I always wear sunscreen especially when i'm traveling because when i'm traveling i am always out and about i'm in the sun regardless if it's clouds you can still get sun damage and just so you guys know let me make myself extremely very clear sunscreen is the number one thing you can do at home to prevent aging from like baby age to forever so wear your sunscreen sun damage is why we age why we age okay so please wear your sunscreen so you don't get wrinkly super fast <laughs> sun i mean the sun just like takes it out of us so make sure that you wear sunscreen this is a more of a watery consistency um but i like that because it sits really nicely under um foundations and under makeup the cool thing about it is um since it has no texture it just i mean it just sits so nicely, like, so nice. And I do put this on my eyelids because I ain't playing when I say I <laughs> am trying to prevent aging. Um, but I feel like everyone's beautiful at every age, every stage. But um, I also feel like there's nothing wrong with being preventative with your aging. There's some people who are anti-anti-aging, some people who, you know, are all into um, preventative, um, preventing your aging, but I'm honestly cool with whatever, but personally, I'm all about preventing aging, you know? There's nothing wrong with staying a little less wrinkly for a little while. Kind of thrown about my routine, I somewhere in there, it's either usually first or last, is chapstick. My lips are always so dry, 
Normally I have Cary Grand Lip Whips with me and I am telling you those are the best for super dry lips. Um, but I brought this one. This is Recover. It's got bow bomb. It's a bow bomb lip therapy, green tea and mint. I really like this one, but nothing tops Cary Grand Lip Whips. Gosh, my lips are so dry. But yeah, I, I feel like that's part of the skincare routine, so I wanted to share that with you guys. All right, so my skin is protected, it's hydrated, um, it's sealed with my moisturizer, and that is kind of what I do every day. I always make sure that I use my products um, thinnest to thickest, and that I use the most active ingredients within those ranges first. If you guys are wondering like, what to put on when and where, always make sure that the active ingredients and the thinnest ingredients are first. All right, so this is my skincare routine that I do while I'm traveling. Um, I hope this helped you guys understand a little bit more about what I do and kind of the order and the products themselves. I just really, like I said, like to keep it super simple when I'm traveling, easy. I don't like to bring a thousand products and I don't like to bring super big products. So I hope this helped you guys um, if you guys are traveling anytime soon or, you know, just kind of wanted to get a little bit more insight onto my side of the skincare routine. Let me know in the comments below if skincare is something you guys want to talk about more on this channel. I am obsessed. So seriously, let me know and let me know your questions. Happy to do research, happy to look into it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. You guys can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Cordially K. I'll put that right here for you guys. But don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell button because it'll tell you when I upload videos and you'll be the first one to see it. Thanks again, loves. Mwah. Bye, beauties. I love this house. Mm, good morning, you guys. Whoa. <laughs>